Thank you. Oh. <laughs> you just hit me. <laughs> yes, all right. I just got a punch in the back of the neck. <laughs> it's only you, Timothy. <laughs> yes, only me. Small but beautifully marked. <laughs> I, I thought it was your mother. <laughs> oh, not this time. Good Lord, the marmalade's on fire. Hang on. <laughs> the smoke coming out of the marmalade. I, um... Just uh, hiding it from your mother, Timothy. <laughs> Any port in a storm. <laughs> Bit underhand, Father. Oh, I've got no secrets from your mother, Timothy. Mind you, I don't think anybody has. Mother, you have already won a prize. <laughs> mother. 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 The head of the house. Mother. <laughs> the occupier. Your mother. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Lumsden. Your mother. <laughs> ah, this is for me. Your mother will want to see that. <laughs> she won't be seeing this, I tell you. Adventure safaris to Central Asia. Central Asia? Mm hmm. I've grown, Father, I've grown out of holidays on Canby Island. <laughs> yes. I want the big country. Bournemouth, you mean? <laughs> oh, not Bournemouth. Bournemouth, are they? I'm about to book a budget tour of the Gobi Desert. <laughs> Two-day yak safari, £14 extra. <laughs> what do you think your mother will say about that? <laughs> I won't be thinking of mother, father, when it's dawn and the Hindu Kush. <laughs> and I'm lighting my crude fire of dung. <laughs> sharing a crude joke with a crude Mongolian porter. Gulping, scolding green tea, washing down yoghurt, you know, I mean, not this, you know, this passion fruit and gooseberry stuff, not that. I mean, the real McCoy, real Mongolian rancid yoghurt. <laughs> Full of goat's hair. <laughs> Mouthful of that, you can stop a charging yak at 35 paces. <laughs> Mongolia, eh? Well, mm. take a tip from me, Timothy. Sing in a loud voice. Pardon? They don't have locks on the lavatory doors out there. <laughs> not doors? Don't think they've got lavatories. <laughs> That's it, Timothy. You see, no standards. Those Asiatic Johnnies will flog you the grandmother for a couple of woodbines. Well, witness what happened to Uncle Hector in Valparaiso. Well, he didn't get rid of it till he got to Waterloo Station. You won't be selling me anybody. I'm going with Freddy. Freddy? Oh, Winifred Freddy. My current lady. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice girl. Mm. I suppose she is, is she? Oh, yes. And she, uh, doesn't mind? Uh, no, no, no. So you, uh, <laughs> do you? <laughs> yes, I, I think we, uh, do. Sorry, what are you talking about? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Damn if I know. I can smell burning marmalade. <laughs> what did I tell you about playing with matches? Is that a cheroot? What? No, oh, my God, it is. <laughs> How did it get there? Take it into the garden and yourself with it. Oh, fair enough. <coughs> I went to the doctor yesterday, Timothy. Mother, it's not a little brother, is it? <laughs> the doctor says I'm not getting any younger. Really? I should ask for a second opinion, Mother. <laughs> it's worry that's the trouble, Timothy. You know what the biggest worry in my life is, don't you? One day you'll forget to clean up before the cleaning lady comes. <laughs> the biggest worry in my life is you. Me? You and Freddie. What about me and Freddie, Mother? Sorry. Well, her divorce isn't finalised. Well, you knew that, Mother, when you introduced us. You're 41, Timothy. I've had to lower my standards as far as you're concerned. Frankly, it's any port in a storm now. <laughs> what is the matter with me and Freddie? Just tell me that. That's well... All. You're a lot too friendly, and you are not to go on holiday with her. Holiday? Who mentioned holiday? Mother, what have you been doing? Steaming open the postman? <laughs> That's another thing the doctor said. You're getting a lot too secretive. Oh, secretive? Well, do you blame me, Mother? I find a girl I like, you immediately try and get rid of her. Well, I'm off out, Mother, and I'm not saying where to. Not to her, you're not. Why not? Well, 
You haven't finished the cold curry oh. from last night. <laughs> I mixed in the pickle lilies. I don't like cold curry for breakfast, Mother. You're going to... You promised to de-flee the cat. Give the cat the curry, Mother. The fleas will be off there like rats on the sand. <laughs> She's a painted Jezebel. Puss. Puss, puss, puss. <laughs> puss. Sorry. On the table. Sorry. Yes, Mother, go on. Well... All I want you to do is to invite Timothy to stay the weekend. Because I think he needs a change. What do you mean, on parole? All I think is that he needs to get right away. The doctor's very worried about him. But don't tell him I told you. He's not supposed to know. <laughs> well, goodbye, Mrs. Robinson. See you at the Mother's Union. <laughs> Mrs. Robinson? What is she up to? What? Mother wants me to get straight back on the phone and invite Tim for the weekend. Why, well, it's OK. No, it's not. Her main object in life is to keep Tim and me apart so we don't talk about her. She's up to something. Obvious. Tim comes here, she sends your father off for a weekend with the compost heap. <laughs> She's got a fancy man. Of course! <laughs> Winifred! Freddy! Tim's got himself a real regular girlfriend for once and she's trying to break it up. Right. Yes. Tim with a regular girlfriend? Since when? Last week. My God, it's a record. <laughs> Hello, Tim. It's Muriel. Is Mother there? Listening? I thought so. Well, I'll ask questions and you just answer yes or no. Would you like to come here for the weekend? No, I thought not. Would you like to come for the weekend if I invited Freddy for supper? <laughs> steady, boy, steady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll get the coffee. Uh, you drink coffee, Freddy? Yes. yes. Uh, none for me, please. Unless you've got some of that. Um... Oh, no, it doesn't matter. Some of that what? No, it doesn't matter. The what? No, it doesn't. It's just. Um, I think they call it um, sleepyhead beverage. You know, it sounds a bit funny, but just. So it helps me unwind. Sleepyhead uh... beverage? You're kidding. <laughs> of course I am. <laughs> yeah. Now have a cup of strong black coffee with a dash of fire water as usual. <laughs> got you going there, Freddy. <laughs> we do have some sleepyhead beverage. Muriel got some this afternoon, especially. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, these are my people. Welcome to my world, as it were. I like your sister. She's lovely. She is very nice, mm. isn't she? She takes after father. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the cheroot, of course. <laughs> oh, yes. Shall we, uh, shall we scatter ourselves in the, uh, on the uh, chaise long? <laughs> or chaise short, as it is in this case. <laughs> Cuddle up and keep close. Mm. Oh, oh, stop it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, I just, you know, can't control myself. <laughs> After the first 10,000 kisses, I calm down. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, shall we start now? Oh, Tim, we're not 16. Oh, you speak for yourself. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. Oh, <laughs> Rather too much rum in the barbers. <laughs> Speaking for my own barber, personally, that is. Here, have your coffee. Thank you. Are you all right? Yes, I'm all right. I'm fine. So, oh, sorry, sorry, oh. sorry. Oh, oh dear. Right. Sorry, oh. sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Tell us about this holiday thing, Timothy. Well, um, it's just that uh, next mm. month, Freddie and I, uh, we, uh, <laughs> both of us together, you know, are um, <laughs> actually... We, <laughs> we are going on this uh, adventure safari to Central Asia. Have you done this sort of thing before, Freddy? Oh, yes, Africa. Alex, that's my ex, arranged everything. Oh, uh, I, I'm sorry to talk about him, Tim. I didn't... Oh, don't worry. Talk about as much as you want. Doesn't matter to me. Good heavens. Goodness me, we're not 16 anymore, are we? <laughs> well, Alex had been a traveller before I met him, and then we got married. Yes, I've been on some fairly tough trips. <laughs> I don't think you'll find they were as tough as this one is uh, <laughs> going to be somehow. Oh, but, uh... you get some very hairy moments. Well, People taking pot shots at your headlamps can be a bit of a worry. Well, it's very common, that, of course, very common. What do you do about it? Drive backwards. 
We had a bit of a go once in the Serengeti. We were on the milk run down from Addis to MB. Oh, MB, yes. <laughs> What's MB? <laughs> <laughs> sorry? Sorry, what, what is, sorry, what is, what do you mean MB? Sorry. Mombasa. Oh, yes, of course, sorry. <laughs> Mombasa, lovely place. It's a dump. Lovely dump, you know, and uh, <laughs> really lovely dump. How do you know you've not been there? Shush. Please, Kevin. I am a librarian. <laughs> I do happen to have the first go at the National Geographic. <laughs> I'm sorry, Fred, I'm sorry. Oh, that. well, anyway, we were it. driving along and all of a sudden, bang! Steam everywhere. Oh, the God. radiators burst. Oh. And my first thought was the fan belt. Right, quite. So you took off your tights? What? <laughs> tights, Muriel. Heights. I understand they make very good fan belts. I don't know. I mean, I don't wear them myself. <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't a fan belt. Well, it it wasn't was a fan belt, ivory so. poachers oh. firing at us. Oh, my. We had to spend the rest of the night hiding behind an anthill. Oh, dear. Well, this is it. Mm. This is it, Freddie. This is it. The kernel of the whole business. I had a very, very similar experience myself once. What? Where? In Ventnor. <laughs> Ventnor? <laughs> well, not in Ventnor. No, not in you know, a mile or so behind, you know. In the interior. <laughs> the Isle of Wight doesn't have an interior? Of course it does. Has an interior. Of course it does. A mile or so up country. There's virgin forest up there that hardly anybody ever goes to except at the weekends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yes. Well, I'll have you know that I was on an expedition there with some other people. What other people? <laughs> Only asked him what other people. I'll tell you what other people. I'll tell you. Mother and great aunt Hetty. <laughs> 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 All right, I tell you that we were in this <laughs> safari park type place. I'll tell you what, the baboons were tearing the GB plates off the car for a start. <laughs> That's not very funny. We drove into the lion enclosure. Now we had the windows really tight closed, and all of a sudden, there's a wasp in the car. <laughs> Mother was very angry. Why? Well, it was my jam sandwiches it was after, you see. <laughs> now, she had the presence of my mother did to hit the wasp with the AA Book of Wildlife. <laughs> and it started buzzing about, got into Aunt Hetty's lap, she got hysteric, started screaming, Mother hit her, and eventually Aunt Hetty made a break for it. What, straight through the lions? Yes. Fortunately, the smell of the mothballs kept them back. <laughs> and just carried on licking the bottom, so don't tell me I haven't seen a thing or two. That'll be Mother now. Hello, Mother? Timothy, are you wearing your woolly vest? Uh, well, as it happens, I am, Mother, yes. And why didn't you ring to let us know you got there safely? Well, I thought no news would be good news, Mother. And how are Kevin and Muriel? Mother, we are not roistering. We are here having a very quiet, civilised game of mahjong. We... Ma Mother, you can play with three... Can't, can't you play mahjong? Four. four. Well, there are four of us here, Mother. Yes, there is Kevin, Muriel, myself, and the cat. <laughs> Don't underestimate the cat, Mother. It's damn sight better at it than I am. <laughs> Look, Mother, Freddie who? Freddie who? Why, why should Freddie be here, Mother? Ma he ma walks right mother, into I am... it every time. Mother, I'm not fibbing. I have not got my fingers crossed. You ask Muriel. Okay. Yes, Mother, Freddie's here. So what? Oh, give that back. Give that back. <laughs> Hello, Mother. No, I can't come home. But I can't. They give me a towel. <laughs> what? She's ill. Mother. She's very ill. Really? She's dead. You can't be. She is. Look, take one of your tablets. Well, I don't know which tablet, dear. What colours have you got there? <laughs> well, take several and take a chance. <laughs> Look, mother, mother, please, will you please listen? I'm having perfect people are listening here. Mother, please. Freddie is not cradle snatching. I am 14. <laughs> <laughs> I am 41, dear, and I'm a good deal older. It does make a difference. Mother, please, I cannot carry on like this. Look, look, we're having a perfectly lovely time, Mother. We all send our love. We're just about to roll back the carpet and have a lovely game of strip scrabble. <laughs> yes, Mother, they were clean on this morning. One twenty-six. 
Maximum speed ever achieved by a steam locomotive engine. Mallard, 1938. Wonder Book of Wonders, page 29. <laughs> 127. Average number of fleas in a gerbil. <laughs> Starting from scratch. <laughs> well, he would do, wouldn't he? <laughs> Wonder if Mother D fleed the cat. <laughs> Probably too ill. <laughs> she hasn't rung. She hasn't rung. That's what worries me. She what has... are you clumping about down here for? Oh, hello. I'm just, well, just having some, you know, orange juice topping up the old vitamins. Now there's not so much sun about. No, of course there's not so much sun about. It's the middle of the night. <laughs> You can't sleep, can well, you? Well, yes, I can. Yes, I can. I've been asleep several times. Just woke up for a bit of a rest, that's all. <laughs> Mother is ill, Muriel. You know, she I'm very... is not she ill. Is... She's oh. jealous. Hmm? I know why you can't oh. sleep. What? Mother hasn't tucked you in and sung Wee Willy Winky. Oh, <laughs> goodness me. You think I'm a mother's boy to that extent? Good. Tied to my mother's apron strings, joined by some umbilical cord. Look at that. The phone isn't properly on the thing there. She's probably been trying to get through, Muriel. I did it. I hoped well, you wouldn't notice. Now, you say you're not attached to Mother. Leave it off. She's ill. Leave it off. She's not ill. She knows Freddy was here and she wants you back in the gingerbread house eating rusk sort of. I don't like rusks. <laughs> well, with a bit of chocolate spread, that's undoubtedly. Like. <laughs> She's not going to give you up for Freddy. Oh, it's the same old story. Women fighting over me. I Will you get into bed? What? Do it yourself. Oh, yes, all right then. All right, don't shout for that. Yes. Close your eyes. Oh. <sighs> we willy will be runs through the town. Upstairs and downstairs in his nightgown. Tapping at the window. Crying at the lock. Are the children all in bed? It's past nine o'clock. <laughs> Timothy? Oh my God, it works. <laughs> Hello? Mother? Oh, Father. Father, how's Mother? None too lively. In fact, she's feeling pretty seedy, but she says you're not to come home. No, she says it's her last wish to leave you with <laughs> Freddy to have a good time. Last wish, Father? I'm coming over straight away. Don't come home. She means it. <laughs> Let him come home if he wants to. Uh, sorry, Timothy. Uh, uh, no, 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 she says she can. Uh, well, fair enough. Uh, see you. Oh, my gosh. Sorry, four-wheel drive. Yes, I'm sorry. My mind was motherwise engaged. Otherwise, uh, if you mention mother once more, I'm going to pull your ears. Oh no, you please, mate. Move, move, Why don't You drive, Tim. Keep your mind off things. Come on, you try. I'll sit beside him, Muriel. Something terrible could happen, Muriel. You know, in the night, terrible things do happen in the night. You know, they're probably trying to get hold of me now, even at this moment, on the radio, police messages. Will you a, shut up and get in? My diary. They could have my diary. They could be doing that, ringing every number in it. <laughs> they got it. <laughs> they found me. Oh, don't be gone. How could they? It's her. It's her. Oh, of course it's not. <laughs> they always do. They always do. Oh, Tim, they have to come and help me. He's gone now. Muriel, I'll never forgive you for this. <laughs> He's not always like this. He can be quite normal for minutes at a time. Hey, wait a minute, wait for us! Timothy! <laughs> Where's he going? Oh, God, as if we didn't know! You've left the girls behind. 
Just hope we get there in time. Get where? Oh, no. Well, you're not a very good little homing pigeon, are you? This isn't the way. What? It's that way. Right. Hold on, Kevin. Four-wheel drive it is. I'm afraid so, old son. Oh, dear. When, when was it? About ten minutes ago. What happened? Well, I put it in the oven at regular seven <laughs> like a <it's> four. <laughs> What's that? What are you talking about? Lunch. Your mother won't oh, touch it. No, I was... I, th I thought you mentioned gone. Gone? Gone bean, you mean? Not gone bean. No, gone before. Before what? Well, I don't know. No, no, no. Time for joking. Your mother's in a sad state. I know she's in a sad state. What does the doctor say? Well, she won't have a doctor. She says she doesn't put anyone out. She's turned her face against the wall. Timothy. She was calling for you all last night. Oh, dear. I wasn't coming. I'm coming, mother. Coming. Oh, Kevin. Good of you to come. Things are a bit fraught round here. It's a, it's a worrying time for all of us. I want to be sick. <laughs> well, it takes different people different ways to speak. Mummy? <laughs> Timothy? Yes, Mother? Is that you? Yes, Mummy. Don't you recognise me? Come closer. Where were you? I kept calling for you. I know you did, Mother, but Muriel wouldn't let me go. What? She, <laughs> she, she, gave, me, she gave me three mugs of that sleepyhead beverage, Mother. Every time I woke up, she sang Wee Willy Winky again. <laughs> Tell Muriel that I forgive her. Mother, you are ill. Tell her that I forgive her all the spiteful, ungrateful, underhand, mean... Don't not... excite yourself, Mother, please. She boiled my squeegee, Timothy. <laughs> no, Mother. Yes. Oh, well, don't worry, Mother, because I'm here now. I'm here with you now. Mother, Mother. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mother. I thought you... I thought you were slipping away. I was thinking... About the first time you ran away from me. You packed your little pedal car full of bread and dripping. <laughs> you took water in a jam jar and your nightlight and off you trundled. I'm sorry, Mother. A great big policeman brought you back. They found you in the middle of the high street playing with some horse manure. <laughs> you get that from your father, of course. <laughs> sorry, Mother. Sorry, we'll butter new parsnips. Which reminds me, if anything should happen to me, all my recipes are in the left-hand drawer downstairs. Would you like me to burn them? <laughs> sorry, Mother, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. You've worn me out, Timothy. I'm barely a husk. I didn't mean to, honestly. I want you to promise me one more thing. Yes, Mother, anything that as long as you live, you will never see that woman again. Yes, I'll promise that. Yeah. Sorry, what woman are you talking about, Mother? That Freddy person. Oh, no, Mother, I couldn't promise that. <coughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm sinking, Timothy. I'm sinking fast. Mother, don't sink, don't sink, don't sink. I, all right, I promise. Never to see her again. Never to see her again, Mother. <sighs> Mother, you're not feeling away. Mother! Mother, but father, father! Oh, don't call him. <laughs> I don't want him bumbling around now. I'm feeling so much better. Better? Yes. Your promise has made me feel much better. I think I could look at some lunch now. But mother, you're ill. I mean, you were ill. Isn't nature wonderful? <laughs> You've tricked me. Yes, rather successfully. But it was for your own good. No. I know you like bread and dripping, so we'll have a nice, cosy tea together. My own good mother. You said she was a nice... You said you liked her. You said she was a nice girl. Yes, but I had my fingers crossed. <laughs> oh, you... 
Well, so did I. I have my fingers crossed and I promise never to see her again. You had your fingers crossed? Yes, I did. You deceitful little boy, <laughs> taking advantage of my illness. Where's my hairbrush? Bend over. Go on, Ma bend over. Look, Mother, I will not. I'm 41. <laughs> I've got long trousers. I'm a grown man. I've got an Adam's apple. <laughs> I've got a monthly subscription to Man About Child. What's that got to do with it? Could I tuck a copy of it down behind my trousers? <laughs> Mother! Goodness me. She's feeling better then. Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm afraid I had to deal rather firmly with Mother. <laughs> so perhaps it's just as well if Mother doesn't, you know, see you around for a while. Stay in, you uh, mean? No, 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 good heavens, <laughs> no. But, I mean, if you should, you know, have to come out, um, just perhaps, you know, <laughs> dress, you know, a little bit more in keeping. In keeping with what? Well, in keeping with Mother. <laughs> Plus, it does look as though our Central Asia safari might have to be shelved for the foreseeable time being. Well, where should we go, then? Well, overseas, obviously. <laughs> obviously overseas. How about Ventnor? <laughs> Ventnor? Well, Ventnor's a lot less ordinary than people might suppose. <laughs> well, we could stay at home. Home with Mother? No! My home. Oh, your home? Mm. <laughs> Golly! <laughs> well, why not, indeed? Uh, why not? I mean, after all, we're not 16 anymore, are we? <laughs> so it's good night, Ventnor, really. <laughs> oh.